Good morning and happy Tuesday. It is March. Happy March to you. Today's the 5th and it's actually my nephew's 9th birthday. So happy birthday, Aiden. We have all of the kids coming over this afternoon and we're going to do a little party for him, which is very exciting. But before that, oh, there's stuff that I want to do and I, <laughs> I've lost my motivation. So usually when I vlog, I'm motivated to do something, so I thought I'd start vlogging just quite randomly today. So hopefully doing that, I'll get stuff done. I got up quite early this morning, so it kind of feels like it's halfway through the afternoon, but it's not. It's only 11.30, so I feel like I've sort of lived my day and I'm ready to sort of start winding down, but I mean, the day's just barely started. So yeah, there's that. Today... I thought this is why I thought I'd vlog because I know that it will give me motivation to do it is I want to move on to my next project onto my next whip that I need to get finished and it's my swoon quilt I want to finish quilting and basting and labeling my swoon quilt so first thing that I need to do is baste it and I need motivation to do that so vlogging will help with that I really wanted to baste my swoon quilt last week but I ran out of quilt basting spray and at the moment my local spotlight which is the spotlight that I work at is out of stock <laughs> we don't have any basting spray at all I'm like are you serious the one time that I really want to do some quilting I can't do it because I don't have any basting spray so uh, I mentioned this to my friend Jess at work and she very 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 nicely and very generously lent me her basting spray which I will no doubt finish I'm sorry Jess but I said I'd buy her a new one when they come in so yay for Jess and for saving the day and for giving me her spray basting spray tin thing <laughs> so I can I can get it done so I have I'm going to use this as the binding um, this is one of the ones that I had up for my pixelated rose quilt that I wasn't going to use. So I'll put that to the side. I actually already did the backing for this one, but I... Actually, I'm going to put it down. I'm going to put it there. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yay. I already did the backing for this fabric, so it's two big pieces of fabric. And I'm using this beautiful hummingbird fabric that I got ages ago that I've already shown you before. This is called Novu Meadow and it was designed exclusively for, for Spotlight by someone, I can't read that signature, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous print and I'm going to put it on the back of my swoon quilt. And for those of you who have not seen my swoon quilt before, it's this one. A bit hard to see, but swoon quilt. And it's got all of these different <laughs> all of these different fabrics through it so it's a really nice lovely scrappy quilt so I thought that would work best with this fabric I think it just, it just ties in um, as well as the binding so that's what we're going to attempt there goes the laundry dog that's what we're going to attempt to baste today I won't get time to do any quilting because as I mentioned we have a house full of children later on this afternoon so it may have to be tomorrow's job. Yes. The other thing that has been stopping me from getting this done is on... What day was it? It might have been Friday, I think. So Friday? What's today? Today's Tuesday. It must have been Friday. Friday, I just did a whole sort of morning of just doing lots and lots of cutting. I did cutting for four more Lucky Star blocks, which is this one here. I made this yellow one on f yesterday. I did this one yesterday, the yellow one. So now I have six blocks up on my design wall and I have another three to go so that it equals nine blocks. But yeah, I did a whole cutting session the other day and I cut out all of the fabrics for all four blocks. And now I still have three piles of fabric on my sewing table. Let me just show you. So there's my pre-cut fabrics. I love this print. How beautiful is that? I found it in my little box of fat quarters and I completely forgot I had it. So I'm really, really looking forward to how that one's going to look. But yeah, I've got this one and then this one with some Denise Schmidt uh, design fabric. And then this one here. This one was from another fat quarter I found in 
my little boxings here. So I'm in two minds of whether I make up these blocks before getting into quilting my swoon quilt or I just sort of clip these together, put them on my cork board, do my swoon quilt and then once the swoon is done I can focus on getting this quilt done. Which I think I think I might actually do because I want to get this quilt, this my swoon done soon soon because I do have a plan for this and it needs to get done soon I'm not entering it into um, a show or anything like that it's actually going to be a gift for someone so I kind of want to get it done as soon as possible so I can gift it as soon as possible so that's that's my morning in a nutshell it's still it's still only 11 30 and it feels like I've lived the day. Now the thought is, do I have lunch and then do my swoon? Or do I do the swoon, like baste it, and then have lunch? I want to get this done quite soon because it's actually quite hot today. It's going to be like 34 or something today. I'm so over it. Why is it still hot in March? It's autumn for goodness sake. Anyway. Anyway. I'll figure it out and I'll let you know <laughs> as soon as I do. So I decided I'm going to have some lunch before I get basting my swoon quilt. I have put up all of the uh, cut pieces of fabric that I did the other day on my cork board. So they're there, ready for when I need them. They're out of the way. They're all together and yeah, nice and pretty up there. I like having a little bit more colour back on this cork board. Just, it's just been too bare for too long. Also today, let me sit down and show you. Also today I'm going to crack open this baby. I've had this roll of batting in my sewing room for like a year a year and a half two years maybe i don't know but today i'm finally cracking it open so here's the label on the roll it's called back to basics the perfect old-fashioned 100 percent cotton batting machine or hand quilt up to 10 inches apart i read on here that after you wash it it will give your quilt the perfect antique wrinkle look and i like how it tells you always label your quilt Agreed. Always label your quilt. This stuff is from the US and uh, supplied by J. Lutnegar in Australia. I've actually never used this batting before so I'm hoping that it's going to be okay. It does have a few holes in it. I'm going to have to cut off a few of the first little scraggly bits so that we have some nice lovely fresh batting in the quilt but it feels just like normal cotton batting which is what, what it says. So hopefully it's it's easy to use. Good morning and happy Thursday. Today is March the something or other. As always, you join me in my sewing room because this is practically where I live. <laughs> I love being in this room and it just brings me so much happiness. I'm just so happy. Today is, I'm hoping, a good solid sewing day. At the moment, I'm about to, I'm actually just sort of just in the very first stages of making another one of my lucky star blocks the other day i did this yellow one here i think i like it but at the same time i'm not sure if i do oh well i'm not making another one it'll do but now i'm making another one and this one is using a blue with this sort of print so i'm about to do the flying geese for those and then i'm going to piece it all together and then hopefully this afternoon because of the weather is finally cooler, for some reason, at the start of this week, the last couple of days, it's been really, really hot and just awful, and I don't work well in the heat, as you all know. Today is finally, like, in the early 20s, so it's so much nicer to do anything. So because of that, I'm hopefully going to start basting my swoon quilt. I cracked out my big roll of batting the other day and i've sandwiched it all together i just need to baste it let's go all the way up here look it's finished i've just left it here because there's no room on my design wall for it my space ain't big enough can you believe it so that's the wall and that's all the space that i have and it's just not gonna fit what's the time it is one o'clock on the dot amazing today's just flown by it's crazy i think i'm gonna have a bite to eat and then this afternoon, I will start basting my swoon quilts. Yay! I'm hoping to sort of get that finished over the next couple of days. Because next week I'm going on holiday for a week. So I won't be at home to do any sewing or anything like that. It's a nice goal to sort of work towards to try and get this quilt 
finished. I'm not really much on a deadline to get this one done, but at the same time I am. I am actually gifting this quilt to someone, and so I want to get it done so I can get it all prepared and to give away. So, yes. I just feel better just to get it done so I'm not stressing over it and I can move on to other things. I think that's sort of like the motto that I have at the moment. Get things done so I can move on to the next thing because I'm sick of procrastinating and just sitting on it all the time. I just want to get stuff done and it feels good when I get stuff done because, yeah, it just means I can move on to something different, something new, something fresh, just to keep the enthusiasm and and creative flow flowing. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm hungry, I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> so I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update of what I'm up to. I've just finished basting the first half of my swoon quilt. By the way, don't mind all the traffic in the background. It's peak hour, so it's busy. But yeah, I've just spent the last half hour basting the first half of the swoon quilt. And now I'm just having a lovely drinks break while I muster the enthusiasm to do the other half. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing that I did when I basted my pixelated rose quilt and that is I'm basting it and then pressing it at the same time because I like to baste, spray baste and then press it because I feel like it the spray adheres better because both my rose quilt and this quilt is bigger than my ironing board it's easier just to baste it while it's on the floor so I'm sort of rolling around on the floor twice as long as I usually do and I'm not the most youngest of people so I sort of do a little bit and then take a break then do a little bit then take a break because I know tomorrow I'm gonna be sore like I was when I basted my my pixelated rose quilt but it's all worth it because I end up with this beautiful quilt at the end so and it's you know basted and pressed and nice and flat and lovely just like the way that I like it because I'm very like particular of the way that I want my quilts to be just before I start quilting them so yes this is my view if you'd like to have a look there she is so she takes up the whole lounge room I've already done this half now I've got to press the back spray and then fold it, fold the batting down. So I'm like doing just like little quarters at a time. So I'll spray like this bit, uh, pull the bat batting down. I'll spray this bit and then pull the batting down and then spray this bit. And as I'm doing it, I'm making sure it's nice and flat and stuff. And then I'll spray and do exactly the same thing when I bring the quilt up down. And at the same time I press it. So everything's nice and flat and going out to the edges. That's my current basting method. It's supposed to be an easy way to do it. This is what works best for me. And yeah, I kind of, I'm, I actually really quite enjoy the process, although it's very labor intensive and I'm down on my knees and rolling around on the floor. I really enjoy it because it's just hands on and yeah, I know that there's going to be a lovely quilt at the end of the day. I really hope that you can like hear what I'm saying because it's really noisy outside. It's the joys of living on a main road. But anyway, I've procrastinated long enough. Let's get back into it. Good afternoon and happy Friday. Today is the 8th, I believe. Yes. Today I'm swooning. Yay! I'm going to start quilting my swoon quilt. I actually didn't film any bit of me basting it because you really don't need to see me rolling around on the floor basting this. But it is basted and I'm very, very happy with how it went. So now I'm just going to just get lost in quilting so I'm just picking off all like the fluffy bits and threads all over it because anyway, I just like doing that so I'm going to stick to doing just straight line quilting again I think I'm going to do the same technique that I did with my pixelated rose quilts I'm going to sew uh, on either side of the seam line but I'm going to leave a few spaces open just so it gives a little bit of I don't know a little bit of a different sort of design pattern type thing I oh, know it's hard to explain you'll see it when I finish I was gonna do like crisscrossy sort of quilting but you know I'm really liking just the straight line quilting that I did with my pixelated rose quilt so yeah I'm just gonna stick with what works and what I feel like doing that's what I feel like doing and I think it'll look really nice with this quilt because it's really going to enhance and exaggerate a lot of the lines that this quilt has going for it so yeah let's just do it okay 
update time. It's a couple of hours later and I've just finished. Sorry, I'm just turning the fan off. I just finished the first quarter of my quilting and pretty happy with it. I'm actually surprised myself at just how patient I am being with quilting this one. I wasn't, I mean, I was patient with my last quilt, but this one I'm like really taking my time and I'm okay with that. Uh, I think mainly because it's it's hot today. It's like 30 plus or something and that's why I've had the fan on and it's been actually quite nice. Um, just sitting and quilting in the nice cool fan air. So, lovely. It's about two-ish. It's just about two o'clock. Uh, I'm going to have some lunch. And then I'll do the other quarter this afternoon. I'm not going to get the quilting finished today. I definitely don't have that as a goal today. The goal is just to have at least one sort of direction all quilted so and then we're on our way to getting that done happy days happy days happy days happy days happy days good morning and happy saturday it is the ninth i think it must be the ninth I think I have been spending uh, a little bit of this morning quilting some of my swing quilt and I'm about three quarters of the way done and I'm very very happy I am really really surprising myself with just how patient I am being with quilting this quilt I'm just just so laid back and just happy just to sit there and watch my machine just stitch in and out in and out up and down up and down uh, and just enjoy the process for what it is so I'm just taking it really really slowly and yeah I couldn't be happier with the way that it's turning out I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek so this is the one half of the quilt that's finished so this is sort of like what I was going for these sort of lines here and then this little section all the way up here this is just empty kind of thing I don't know how to really explain it I guess you can see it more on this one so I've left these squares here open so that means that this whole sort of section is all the same width and then all of the rest of the quilt have all of the lines going down each of the seams so I should definitely have this quilted today finished quilted today anyway and uh, I will no doubt do the binding today I think I woke up with that goal in mind and my goal for today was to finish the quilting to do the binding and then have it ready to hand stitch by the end of the day and I think I can definitely achieve that so that's what we're aiming for so I'm just gonna keep on quilting my little butt off and I'll catch up with you when I finish doing it <laughs> days I am about to sew so the very last line in the quilting and just like I did with my pixelated rose quilt I'm gonna film it and then celebrate afterwards so I'm gonna stick it on uh, time lapse for a couple of minutes and then yay it'll be done and I'll be on to the next step which is my favorite uh, the binding I love doing the binding it's just my it's my favorite bit of quilt making so Yo, let's do the last line of quilting. Whoop whoop. Are you excited too, Charlie? Yay. So I've just checked the bobbin and I will have just enough for the last line and nothing else. <laughs> I will have to redo the bobbin for when I do the binding, but we will definitely just have enough to do this last line, which is very lucky indeed. Let's do it. finished and I couldn't be happier look at how pretty it is oh. beautiful I love it and just as I predicted 
we definitely have enough thread in the bobbin. Let's have a look and see how much is left in there. Let's have a look, see. That's, you can't really see, but that's the state of my bobbin. <laughs> There's not a lot left in there. So I'll have to refill that for when I do the, uh, the binding, but that's okay. Turn you off, thank you, my lovely, lovely machine. So there we have my beautiful quilt all finished, and I'm really happy with the result. Just looks really, really nice. I love this really simplistic way of quilting. It's just really nice and effective and lovely and really easy to do. So before I get into doing the binding, I'm going to take a break. It is 20 to 2 and I'm going to have some lunch. I've been quilting for almost two hours straight, which is insane. But, you know, I could literally just quilt for hours if, if you know, given the, the opportunity and the time. As long as I'm comfortable, I could just keep going and going and going and going. So I'm going to eat and then we'll do binding after lunch. Yay! Four o'clock in the afternoon and my goal for the day has been achieved happy days I have just finished sewing the binding on and then doing the little clippy things around the edges so now I just have to find something good on the telly and sit and sew oh, I'm happy I love getting to this part this is my favorite part of quilting is sitting down and sewing the, the binding on by hand it's my favorite favorite bit and oh, I'm so happy that it's got there but it looks really good I was second guessing my choice of binding as I was sewing it on and like oh my gosh have I made an awful awful mistake with this binding I was just like oh it doesn't go it just doesn't look good but then I think it's okay I think it looks all right I think I'm happy with it okay I gotta step right back because this is a big quilt but there it is so far yay happy days I also had my little foldable table out again this time to help me with the quilting so that's what that's on. This is the binding that I chose. It's like a candy cane stripe. It looks, I think it matches really well with the backing. It just, it's just such a great match. I love it. I love this sort of clash of prints. Then on the front, I think it looks okay. I mean, when it's next to certain fabrics, it looks a bit weird. But then when it's next to this one, I think it looks good. I think that kind of looks all right. I don't know. I think I'm just second guessing myself and just not enjoying it for what it is it'll be fine it'll be fine yeah <laughs> anyway i think i'm gonna make a cup of tea and then i'll find something good to watch and get sewing every time i look at the surface i just find little bits that i absolutely love like i love this texture it's really hard to see but i love the texture of this i love the uniform lines and just how like pretty and perfect it is i love it and then there's a little bit here is this little corner here that I'm just loving. I just love like this beautiful clash of prints here all coming into this intersection and then all the lines going through it. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Eee! Is there anybody else out there who just crushes so much on just simple texture? Like I love the texture of quilting and all of these beautiful lines and the and the clashes of the colors just oh, it just ooh, it makes me so excited. I just it just makes me so happy. I don't know. I just love looking at it. I love, I love it. Love it. I love it. 
Good afternoon. Nine days later and we're back into the vlogging game. I've been on holiday. I've just come back from a week away on the central coast. We went up to my home away from home, Port Stephens, and we've stayed at a place called Corlett, which is near Salamander Bay, Nelson's Bay area. Um, so that place is uh, literally my home away from home. I love being up there. So yay! We um, set off early this morning and it's now gone about two. Oh no, it's 1.30. I've come home, I've said hello to the big Charlie boy who has given me the most saddest brown eyes. Oh no, my darling. We had big cuddles with the puppy dog. I've unpacked. I've got my first load of washing on that needs to go out. And now I've just got to catch up with life and everything that I've sort of put to the side over the last nine days. Later on this afternoon, after I sort of get everything organized, my life back on track, I need to finish sewing the binding for my sewing quilt because I didn't do it. I didn't get a chance to do any of the hand sewing for the binding and that was sort of like my goal for the next day or so to get that finished so I can upload this vlog. I think a break away from that quilt was a really really good thing because when I left I wasn't 100% sure on the binding choice that I did for that quilt. I was like oh my gosh I don't like it. But now that I've come home and I've seen it with like fresh eyes, I actually really like it. I think it looks really good. It really suits the scrappy nature of the quilt and yeah, I think I think it looks really nice. I think it's a good choice. So yes, if you ever have doubts on what you've done with a quilt, put it to one side, leave it for a week and come back to it and see what you think. That's my advice for the day. But anyway, I am, I have a cup of tea waiting and a very squashed, oh, a very squashed Easter bunny. Look, oh no, not good. She's not looking all that healthy. Dear, dear, dear. But she's, she's all, yes, anyway. I'm gonna have my tea and my chocolate while I wait for the washing to get done. You can hear it in the background. And yeah, just catch up on some admin life stuff. Jeez, it's noisy. Goodness gracious. And then later on this afternoon slash tonight, I will just snuggle underneath that swoon quilt and just so and so and so and so while I catch up also on some Netflix and maybe some YouTube. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So it's a little later on and I am now sat on the lounge and I've got the quilt here in my lap. I hear it all too long. And we're going to start doing some hand sewing. I, oh, I'm missing a clip there. Or is that just come off? Yeah. I've just lighted, littered, lit. Yeah, I've just lit my favourite candle. It's just gone a bit berserk behind me at the moment, so I just have to be careful. This is my favourite candle at the moment. It is this one here. It is called Be Enlightened, and it is in the scent Vanilla, and it is so lovely. My, um, they're just gone a little bit crazy at the moment. I did trim them down, but they're still choosing to be a bit unruly. I'm just going to choose something on Netflix, and get some sewing done. Good morning and happy Wednesday to you. I and finishing up my swoon finishing swoon vlog today it didn't make sense i'm finishing up my swoon vlog today and it's time to reveal the final quilt i was able to finish all of the hand binding on monday night uh, i sat and i watched harry potter and the order of the phoenix and got it all done and i'm really really happy with the way that it's 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 come out. I think it looks really, really beautiful. I was going to do photography outside like I did with my pixelated rose quilt, but unfortunately it's been raining over the last couple of days, so it's really, really muddy and wet and awful outside. So I'm just going to close this door because it's noisy. So I can't do photography outside, and I would have done it on the brick wall outside like I usually do, but the sun's in the way and all that sort of stuff. So. Our third choice, our indoor choice, is here on the kitchen buffet. Ta-da! Let's get a little bit closer. There we go. Don't mind like the fan and all this paperwork and stuff, but 
yes it fits so nicely here it just skims the floor it's just perfect so I am super 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 happy with that it's a bit more of a close-up of the quilting and yeah I just love the lines in this quilt it's just so pretty yes 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 here it is from another angle la di da di da yay I think I mentioned this the other day but I have come to the conclusion that I love this binding it, it works really well I really like it uh, and I'm glad I used it and it just matches so well with the backing so that's my sewing quilt finished as I mentioned before I am gifting it so I haven't done the label or anything like that yet because I'm pretty sure the person that I am giving it to I think watches my vlog so I don't want to like give it away or anything like that and the label will have their name on it so <laughs> I don't want to give away the surprise but yeah I need to do the label and once it's done and gifted then I will share it with you because I've actually done a really nice design that I've actually drawn up myself and I really really love it so yay but swoon quilt is finished I couldn't be happier I'm very very happy and I know I'm in the dark but that's okay so thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my journey in making this quilt. It's been another long time in the making, but we've got it done. Like I just mentioned, I just got to do the quilt label and it's all done and I can't wait to gift it because I think the person that I'm giving it to will really, really love it and very much appreciate and love it. So yay. So thanks very much for watching and I will see you another time very, very soon. Bye.